Hi, this is Mel from Being a Whisper. I hope all of you are doing awesome today. I'm going to do a story. Today's story is a ghost story and I have done it in my other Bengali uh, story, another channel and many of you did watch that even though you did not understand the language so I realized I should do it in English since you gave the time to watch it even though it was in different language. So I do speak many languages so from time to time I try to do those um, just so that my channel has greater exposure. Uh, so today's story is a ghost story and it's going to be, uh, the name is uh, Ghost in the Hotel. So the character in the story is Abinas and I have made it a little bit changes for this channel too because I didn't want it, both of them to be identical. Uh, so I made some changes to the story characters but the plot is same. So Eminas came from India and he was a doctor but after coming to US he had to get some more certificates in order to be eligible to work here legally. So he uh, had to wait about two, three years in the process and in the meantime he just had to get a job to pay his bills. Uh, so he, since he was uh, uh, experienced in the medical field and he knew all the medical terminology and the medicines and all that because he was a doctor in India. So. He took a job here as a medical representative, so uh, it worked for him well because um, most of the time he traveled and he traveled to many places, sometimes rural village and he liked the traveling part and all of his traveling expenses were paid by his company which he really appreciated so he didn't have to pay for his food food, room and board and he had a day off on Sunday in which he just hung around in those hotels and motels and he took a day rest and probably do his laundry and he most of the time bought his food and ate outside because I mean there was no time for a bachelor to cook anyway so his life was going pretty smooth and he did uh, experience some things while traveling, you know, it's just like basic problems, but nothing so major. But once uh, he was assigned to a job, uh, and this was in a very rural village, but the setting was really beautiful. The village was really nice, green, beautiful, and most of the people lived like pretty um, simple life. And they grew their food and they had beautiful yards and gardens and stuff. So his job was to go and introduce new line of medicine to this community, to the doctors, to the hospitals, to the pharmacy. So it was going to be a two weeks job, which is a very long time. Uh, so traveling to these places and showing them um, but uh, he was going to depend on public transportation and the neighborhood people to uh, drive him to the location because this was a pretty small village and and since it was far away he couldn't take his car or anything so uh, he was on the way to go to that place and on the way there was a flight delay so there was like four hours delay now he was supposed to be in this hotel come motel and this was a person's home who decided to 
uh, rent it out as a hotel motel whatever but they provided uh, one meal which is a dinner and sometimes lunch uh, if requested and on the premises there was a cleaner and a cook um, and then the owner of that hotel slash motel uh, was um, and the person who owned the house he was the owner and the manager and he in the sense it was a small village he wore many hats so sometimes he would be the owner sometimes he would be the manager sometimes he would be the storekeeper they had a store along with it to sell many small things so Avinas uh, reached there at 12 a.m. instead of 8 p.m. 8 p.m. was the um, the latest check-in you can do, and earliest was 11 a.m. in the morning. So 8 p.m. after 8 p.m. they didn't do any check-in because the owner himself closed down. And since it was a village kind of setting, people went to bed around 9, so they didn't stay up all night long. So anyway, he went and he was knocking at the door, it's 12 o'clock, and then the owner came down to the balcony, there was a little balcony for upstairs, and he bent down and he looked at the door and he saw Aminaz and said, Hello? Can I help you? And then Avina said, Oh, hi, sir. And the owner's name was Mr. Brian. So he said, Hi, sir, Mr. Brian. Uh, my name is Avinash, and I was supposed to check in around 8 p.m., but my flight got delayed, so now it's four hours delay, and I tried to reach you, but... It seems like there were, um, there is no way to reach anybody here. So here I am now, and I'm sorry that uh, I'm so late, but I don't know anywhere else to go, so I must stay here because I have the booking for next two weeks. So even though the owner was little unhappy but he was still a kind person to came down and let Avinas in and check him in and checked his IDs and all that thing and then Avinas say wow the place is so quiet the owner was still a little upset and he said well it ought to be it's 12 a.m. if you didn't realize that Avinas said oh I'm so sorry again sir it was just not in my hand. The plane, the flight was four hours delay due to some unknown cause. Uh, anyway, so he said, okay, but your room is ready and it's over there and I won't be able to give you any food tonight because the cook and the maid, they all leave the premises by 9 p.m you haven't done uh, your eating or any request for food before 8 p.m. you will not get it because 8 p.m. the kitchen closes then they have some extra work to clean up and get things together and put things in order and be ready for the next morning which I gave them generous one hour to do it and then they are out of the premises sharp at 9 p.m. and then I close the door and nobody shall enter after that because I got a life too you know I gotta go take my shower eat my food and sleep so I can start the day next day so he also said to Minas well this is a small village so don't expect here people to act like you city folks stay up all night do whatever you wish whenever you wish we don't do that we wake up right at five o'clock in the morning and get to our business and most of us goes for a walk long walk see things around the neighborhood say hi to the neighbor and just live a normal life and then we go to bed 10 o'clock sharp 
no later than that some people at nine o'clock so by the nine o'clock you can expect it to be very dark so you have to finish ordering all your foods and after 11 p.m there's gonna be no tv or any sorts of noise so between the hours of 11 p.m and 7 a.m the place should be total silence so everybody can rest and sleep so as he ran down the laws with Abhinas, Abhinas was just politely listening and nodding his head, yes sir, yes sir. Abhinas was very gentleman. So then he showed Abhinas, Abhinas was going to go to the totally other side of the building and Mr. Brian is supposed to go to the totally opposite side of the building. So they went from both opposite sides saying good night to each other. As Abhinas proceeded and opened his um, door for the hotel and he saw there was a nice beautiful room, room was quite big and had a balcony and um, the room was very nice, beautiful, clean, organized and there was a little TV, it was pretty old fashioned and on top of the TV, there was a note with a paper saying no TV between the hours of 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Which is pretty odd for a hotel or motel, but Abhinas didn't care because he wasn't going to go watch TV anyway at midnight. So he just quietly took a quick sour because he saw there was a nice sour place and was, everything was very neat, nice, clean, organized. So he took his quick sour and he went to bed around 12.30ish and then he was sleeping good because the bed was really nice and he fell in deep sleep. Around 3 a.m. he woke up with some female crying. So he woke up uh, and he first thought that he was dreaming but then as he opened his eyes and started getting out of bed and walking around and saw well, it's real now because someone is crying. So he opened his door and tried to go downstairs to see because there was only two floor upstairs and downstairs to see who's crying. So he said, hello, anybody there? Hello? And as he was going down, um, the, before he could reach the last step, he see. So as he reached the last step, he saw a woman appearing and disappearing. And this woman um, was very beautiful, young woman around 30s. And she had long, beautiful blonde hair. And she was very tall. But her eyes were very scary and glowing. And she was uh, popping in and out all of a sudden vanishing and coming so Abhinas say hello who are you can I help you and as Abhinas says like that she turned and looked at Abhinas and Abhinas like hello who, who you are who you are and he got so scared and his word become gibberish and mumble and he couldn't speak properly he was very scared so then he wanted to run, go to his room, and as the woman turned her head and looked at Abhinas, he felt like as if he was frozen, stuck to the steps. So then he somehow gathered his strength and just started thinking like, it's all my imagination, it's all my imagination, it's nothing real. And he went to his room and closed the door and started breathing very heavily 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 and then he sat down and he thought about calling mr brian and then he thought no because he already bothered mr brian once and doesn't want to do that again so he just sat in his bed and, and keep saying his prayer and chanting his prayer uh, for Siva and Durga and all that and then to protect him but it was already 4 a.m. so just sat down and while sitting down he went in and out of sleep 
couple of times and before he knew it was 7 a.m. So he went downstairs 7 a.m. and he saw Mr. Brian was making coffee and he says, Hello there, good morning. Are you ready for some coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee and we do serve with the coffee little bit crackers so you can have some crackers and coffee in the morning and we have in the dining room about uh, nine o'clock ish they will serve some oatmeal and some fruits if you wish you can have them and so they all included uh, in your bills so he said oh never mind sir i just came to see uh, you because I had to tell you something last night some woman was crying and as I came down I saw this young lady uh, was popping in and out and her eyes were glowing and she didn't look like human and she was very scary and I'm so scared so what is going on here um, is there a ghost in here so he saw that Mr. Brian's face got very worried and he said, well, I don't mean to scare you, but you see, uh, my wife died a few years ago, and she died very young age, and she had cancer, and she battled with it, and she loved this place very much. She decorated herself, and she was greatly in love with this house and her life and everything else. But God took her early, and there's nothing can be done. So uh, from time to time she appears, reappears, and usually she gets very panicking when some strangers comes and leaves because this was her house, and now I rent it out to make it as a hotel and I do take the guests selectively I select them make sure they're good and good people I don't just rent it out to any strangers uh, but I guess she is not comfortable with that but I do need the money because all the money is gone on her treatment and also I like some companionship of people because I'm here also alone in this huge house. But I can assure you that she don't mean any harm. She won't harm you or anything. She's just coming to checking to make sure everything is okay. Everything is in its place. Uh, so then I've been asked, oh, I wish you would have told me this because I have this fear about ghosts. And he said, oh, well, well, that's what it is. Uh, nobody else complained though. It's you are the one who first complained. So the Bina said, well then I cannot stay here because it just took me to the core. I was very scared. I didn't feel comfortable at all. And I want my vacation to be a happy one. And I don't want to be scared for the next two weeks staying here and thinking where she's going to pop in, in my room, in my shower, where... And I said, oh, I can totally understand. I can totally understand. Okay, I'll just give you a full refund. And he said, oh, that's so kind of you, sir. But please do take the money out for yesterday's and today's. I'll also pay you for today's, even though I'm leaving today. Because daytime I have my work and evening time I'll come and go. But before that, I'll set up something somewhere. And... Um, and then Mr. Brian said, well, if you don't find anything, you can hang around, that's okay, as long as you find somewhere something safe and you're happy. But do keep in mind that she's not going to do anything harmful to you. Anyway, so uh, Abinas went and then he came back in the evening and he found a place nearby. And so he told Mr. Brian, thank you so much for letting me in at the night time. And thank you so much for your kindness and hospitality. And I'm so, so, so sorry about your wife that she passed away so early. And I respect her. Um, but I need to go because I feel scared being here. So 
before you can understand that and he said oh no 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 problem I perfectly understand and then Abhinas left so this was Abhinas's first real ghost experience and I hope you like the story so see you with many many more thank you good night sweet dreams and don't get scared <laughs>